Hi, I'm Humberto, also known as Bert. Uh, welcome to episode 34 of the World of DVC show. We're going to cover today a lot of the things that experiences that I had of over 20 plus years at Walt Disney World. We got some great uh, topics that we're going to touch. And manténgase alejado de las puertas. Uh, were we supposed to say that in Spanish? Or no? Am I speaking Spanish? We're we doing the show in English or in Spanish here? Ladies and gentlemen, you are now entering the world of DVC. The ultimate DVC destination where magical vacations meet incredible value through exceptional service. Put in your headphones, turn the volume up, sit back, relax, and step into the world of DVC. Just for Sean It's February already. It's February, which means Valentine's Day. Yes. Happy Valentine's Happy Val- Day. Look Did at you, how well Carrie uh, and we I are so well planned for Valentine's and without I'm, even knowing it again. I'm so proud of it, too, which my new shirt that I, I got like from it. RLS VLTS Roosevelt, Roosevelt. I'm not sure, but it's, you know, it's, it's the one that Mr. Morrow wears. R-S-V-O. has every color possible yeah. in it, so I could match you guys no matter what. You did a good I love job. It. Yeah. Thank you. It's and great. I do not have any bad... Um, uh, Valentine's Day candy, like I brought you last year. So well, I think Walmart, that's still Walmart in my cupboard. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we broke into that. I apologize for that. So welcome everybody <laughs> to episode number thirty-four, 34. of the World of DVC show. We're so glad, yeah. of course, that y'all are here, and thank you for watching again last month. Y'all sent in great responses about yeah. where you would add on, and my God, you gave me add-on fever. Well, for it's it. funny. Oh, right? So we got a ton of different comments on that, yeah. but I went through, and I think the one that was mentioned the most. Yeah was the Polynesian. Polynesian, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think, and and that's gonna be interesting because I know yeah. like a lot of people took advantage when we heard the condo association was the right. same. Mm-hmm. But I think once Disney releases actual sale dates yep. and prices of the new tower, yeah. I think Polynesians are gonna fly. <laughs> yeah, I so if you're looking I to agree. add on at Polynesian, apparently yeah. everyone else is too. There's some great buzz <laughs> around it, right? I know yep. that, that, you know, a month into my new sales position with you guys and like there's been just such a great level of like a buzz and conversation and we're planning and we're thinking and this and that so there is there's great speaking of Polynesian on that yeah you were at the Polynesian I was I never go to Ohana because it's tough to get a reservation and unless you're going to eat at 9 30 at night which none of us are going to eat at 9 30 at night let's be (laughs) honest we are we are tucked in bed usually but my parents are visiting for the winter time as they normally do and so they're used to me just kind of like what you did at New Year's being like get your shoes on we're going to dinner we're doing this because when you see a reservation you and you're local, you have to jump on it. And so it was last Friday, I think it was, and I said, there's a reservation. I thought, it's at 4.30. Do I want to eat dinner at 4.30? I really don't. But I also don't want to eat dinner at 9.30, <laughs> and I know that they're going to enjoy Ohana. So I said, let's go. get your Do boat. I want to eat unlimited meat at 4.30 <laughs> p.m.? Yeah, sure, I'll yeah, go Yeah, we had had kind of a lighter day that day, thank God. So I was like, it's chilly out. Get your coats on. We're going to go to Ohana. And so we did. And I have to say, it was it was good. It was really? Good. I, it was. I know. Uh, that was well, because I've heard so many people lately are like, oh, it's not yeah, the Ohana it used to be. Well, it's not. I'm trying not to compare it to like even, I mean, I'm going to go back 20 years ago and then little by little it's it's had its its moment, right? COVID, oh, there was some definite struggles there. But it was it was good. Our server was wonderful. My only thing with Ohana was the last time I ate there, everything came out cold. Mm. everything came out cold and the server was annoyed that that I was annoyed that it was cold and I'm not an annoying type person in a restaurant I try to be very delightful but I don't want everything to be cold so that's awful but you're paying like 60 <laughs> bucks yeah. 60, 60 bucks 60, is still like it's 10 bucks 69.99 I think is what it was $70. but everything came out everything came out hot and and really well done and our server was wonderful and he just he could not have done enough for us and the restaurant there was a great buzz and they had the entertainment it just felt like did they do the coconut races where they put the coconuts good god no 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 No? i hate that race yes no i don't want to be there when the children are racing around with coconuts no offense to anyone's children we were like pre that i think that starts at six (laughs) i don't know (laughs) but it was just enough like entertainment and fun and like we saw the sunset over the castle oh, like pretty. it was beautiful yeah it was really nice so it was it kind of like reinvigorated all of us to be like we, we forgot how much we kind of love it here and you telling us that story invigorated <laughs> us when it came to what are we going to give away this month and yeah. how are people going to enter it to win right and this one over here the marketing Boy, we... and sales director said i've got a perfect <laughs> idea of how we can give away so i have two ideas so one right in the comments 
the your favorite DVC resort for dining. So all dining included, right? Grand Floridian, Polynesian, Riviera. What resort at Disney Vacation Club do you think offers the best dining? And the winner, the people mm-hmm. who put the resort the most in the comments, we're going to go dine there. And Whoa. we'll take some pictures. We'll come back next episode. Yeah, I'm taking you all out to dinner. Okay. Um, but oh, in good. addition to that, good, good, good. <laughs> thanks, Marissa. We're going to pick one winner as well, and we'll take you out to dinner. Yeah, that's okay. Um, that's what we were waiting for. <laughs> yeah. People at home are yeah. watching, going, "This is this the is worst a, contest this of all is time." A terrible prize. <laughs> They're going to take themselves out to dinner. <laughs> no, but I think like if there's yeah. one that you love the most, I would like to know, and then let's go explore. We'll go, it, right? We'll yeah, go take we'll some go pictures. Tight. We'll yeah. bring some feedback on the next episode. Yeah. But we will also give one winner a hundred dollar Disney gift card. So you can die next time you had to Disney. If I were you watching, I would use the mentality of if I'm staying at a resort that I can't leave, where do I want to stay? Where I have to literally eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like just pretend you can't leave. What resort encompasses it all? Kind of all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Quick service and the fine dining. While you're at it, give us a thumbs up, a five-star review. And again, make sure you email us, info at worldofdbc.com. And we will email you and let you know if you have won. Um, On that... We actually were filming today. It is the very end of January, and we just got some really exciting DVC news. So Derek, like fresh off the the presses, (laughs) yes, news. It's it's time for a rapid around the world of DVC, and we're going to start with this because today is January 30th, so the end Mm -hmm. of January, and we got news. There are some things in life that you will never escape that you can always count on: death taxes, and the price of buying Disney Vacation Club Direct going up. What a great segue. <laughs> that is exactly what's going to happen, and that is exactly yeah. what happened today. That's I saw right. the news over there on DVC Fan from our friend Paul Krieger, mm-hmm. posted that the direct prices are now up. They're anywhere from six bucks a point all the way up to eight bucks. So that yeah. means places like Alani are like 225 bucks a point. Riviera is 225. The new ones at California, I think they're 229 229 or something crazy, which is just nuts. So uh, the fact that you can buy those exact same resorts with us at crazy savings. And speaking of crazy savings, now's the time to make our promotion that we announced last month that we've already been doing for the last couple weeks that are so hot and so popular. Carrie, tell them what's going on. Well, we need a sound for this too. Red Hot Deals, <laughs> that's right. Sounds like bacon sizzling on the grill. But the Red Hot Deal promotion right now for DVC Resale Market is going on through February 29th. It's a leap year also. That's right. Which is one more day of that deal. One, one more day, day of that deal, but don't wait because these are literally flying off of the shelf. And so the Red Hot Deals are taking place right now. When you see that Red Hot Deal, just click on it. It's 10% off the market value. It's non-negotiable. You like it, click it, it's yours. So those get sold right away because they they're not negotiable. So as soon as an offer comes in that's yep. full price, it gets sold right away. <laughs> I'll so put exciting. the link in the description yeah. here that'll yeah. take you directly there. Um, but yeah, it is a great time. And what we see when it comes to DVC increasing on the direct prices is typically the resale market follows suit about six months later. So right now is that sweet spot. One, Red Hot Deals, you get 10% below mm-hmm. market value. But two, if you're buying now, you're typically going to get the lowest price you're going to see because over the next six months, we'll start to see that slight increase right. affect the resale market. Um, in terms of planning overall, believe it or not, we are in like peak planning season yep. for Christmas, Christmas and New Year's right. next year. So yep. that- <laughs> I know, it's crazy. You're in that- I like, just put away my Christmas <laughs> stuff. Pull it back out. You're in the 10 month window to book Christmas and New Year's. So yep. if you are looking, if you want to try before you buy, if you are looking to rent points, dvcrentalstore.com, make sure you're putting in those requests, especially for those prime resorts. Mm-hmm. Now is the time to do it. But also, if you're a DVC member and you know this year, we've actually heard a lot of members not using points this year. It's kind of that off year. Mm-hmm. I think so many people were traveling for the 50th and the 100th. Right. So this year, we've been hearing a lot of people saying they're doing something different. Mm-hmm. So if you're looking to do something different and you're not using your points, we actually are in high demand of points over at DVC Rental Store. So head on over there. We pay the most, up to $19 per point. I mean, when you think about it, I had a guest on the phone the other day and he goes, that's like a 7% return. That's crazy yeah (laughs) like again that's the value we're going to talk about the overall value of disney vacation club today but you can rent your points and make some great money back but also you can swap your points so we're actually Mm -hmm. swapping what you name it whether it's sandals or Mm -hmm. beaches or cruises we have great opportunities for you to take your points and use them for a different vacation Mm -hmm. so head on over there it's actually funny today is officially january 30th we're filming right ahead of time um this is officially plan a vacation day oh is it really um it's national plan a vacation day i love love that even though you'll be 
touching this show like two weeks later. We'll call it National Plan of Vacation (laughs) Month. Yes, I love it. Um, So it is a great time to plan. So if you're looking to do other non-Disney vacations, our friends at Be Our Guest Vacation, Mm -hmm. awesome team over there. They can book anything. And we just heard the news of Epic Universe and all the different lands coming out. So if you are planning a trip there, one, you can either swap your points, but mm-hmm. two, if you're not wanting to use points or you're not a DVC member, the team at Be Our Guest Vacations can book all of those for you, plus take advantage of all of that planning absolutely free. Right. The nice thing about DVC Rental Store, too, and Be Our Guest Vacations is that I, the team, the team itself, the experts, they know how to use your points wisely, swap your points, you know, get the most bang for your buck if you're going to rent them out. So they are the true experts where you don't have to feel like you're going to go to this website and not know what to do. You've no. truly got a team of experts there to to really hold your hand the whole way. It's funny because I saw someone post on DVC Fan today that said, oh, I recently closed on my DVC resale market contract and I had some points that we realized we're not going to be able to use. And he literally, his post was, is it always this easy to rent my points out? Because he contacted the DVC rental yeah, store. Really and he's is. like, boom, my 200 points are already sold. Why is this so easy to wow. do that? So, so great. It's true. They're great. They're masters over there. They, yeah. they, are, they are the experts. Yeah. That's awesome. And I think, too, just whether it's it's that or our team at DVC Resale Market, yep. we just have so many people in the field who have either been with Disney for years, right? Or like people like Paul and his team who are just like masters at Disney yep. Vacation Club. Yep. I mean, Paul knows every DVC <laughs> news before anyone does so if you're not following dvc fan make sure you are because that's where all the breaking dvc news is but today we have bert on the show speaking of right somebody who's so experienced bert umberto i should say but he has been with disney vacation club almost since the inception 1996 and so he's going to really take us through just all of those years all the changes and really kind of that legacy that disney vacation club has left over the last 40 years he has such a great story too from like you said the beginning yeah up till now and all of the the trials the tribulations the successes kind of those heartstring moments as well that you you just we all are kind of imprinted with dvc in our hearts and so he's going to walk us through just his his legacy and where he started to where he is today i have a hunch that after you're done with this interview that if you're not a member you're going to want to be a <laughs> member and if you are a member already you're going to be like this is the best thing we ever bought in my life yeah, yeah. god it feels so good a lot of confirmation so, in this in yes. this show right a lot of confirmation enough chatting let's bring on humberto aka bert Yay! Whoa! welcome it's about Thank time you. Thank you. Thank you. i know we haven't <laughs> seen you for a long time yeah i had hair I, that's right <laughs> yeah, that's very true yeah. you did yeah <laughs> Welcome, welcome, you. welcome. We promised him and we delivered him. Here he is. Mm-hmm. This is agent extraordinaire Humberto, Humberto. Santos. Yes. So Humberto, I feel funny, to be honest, calling you Humberto. So please tell people what people normally call you. So uh, my name is Humberto, or Humberto, but... Uh, <laughs> I know, he says it so much better than me. Humberto, we don't like, say it nicely. Welcome Humberto, and he gets hold of it. And yeah, but, but it's AKA Bert. You know, I, I speak Bert. to guests all Good. over and uh, they're like, can I... Can we call you something else? Because I can't. I said, sure. Try Bert. Oh, yeah, okay. Like Bert and Ernie? Yes. Like Bert and Ernie. And then we go on like there. Bert and Mary. Come on. <laughs> yes. Well, that's not what they usually tell me, though. But uh, yeah, so that's. Uh, Bert and Mary. So goes way back when. Fourth grade, this young lady really? couldn't say my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The true story. Yeah. Really? Fourth grade, and so she nicknamed you Bert? I had moved from New York yep. to uh, the Orlando area, yep. early Point Siena. When you were in fourth um, grade? And Yes, and, and uh, so the, the teacher introduced me, and, and oh, okay, that was it. Next morning, I remember the girl's name. I'm not going to say her name. name. Amy Weaver. Oh, <laughs> she comes back. I mean, I mean, no, she actually watches. Each yeah, month. Hi, Amy there she, there Weaver. Hi, Amy. Hey, City, Florida. Anyway, Thank so you. she <laughs> so she came back the next morning, and she's like, I got it. We're going to call you Bert. Why? Well, I, I went home, and I covered H-U-M. She broke it down. And O, and I think Bert's easier for us. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And there it went. And you and it stuck. It's No, yeah, it stuck. I it, mean, I have it, yeah. family members who are Colombian, like that. my family is yeah. Colombian. Right. They, they call me Bert. My cousins call me Bert. And I'm like, dude, you can say Humberto. <laughs> yeah, we like Bert. It's we shorter. Like, it's short. like, okay. I love it. I yeah. love it. That's awesome. We're glad you're here. Thank you. So Bert, thank you for coming by the World of DVC show in episode number 34. Mm-hmm. So we're thrilled to have you here. So why don't you tell everybody that's watching at home that I know wants to know a little bit about, A, how did you wind up here, here. with mm-hmm. this motley bunch? But most <laughs> importantly, how did you wind up working for Disney all those years ago tell us kind of where you started where you're from we know about your time in florida where, where they legally changed your name to bert right, right. <laughs> amy, weaver. Mm-hmm. <laughs> amy weaver amy <laughs> weaver how long were you at disney how many how many years were you totally, totally 20 
20 years. 20, 20 years. years. Okay. When did you start? What was your May year? May 6th, uh, 2006. Man. Wow. God, you you remember your start date? Yes. I was yeah. I was May 12th, 2000. May Wait, wait. May 6th, 20, 20 years, 2016 wait, is when I left. 2016. Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah, yeah. Is that right? I was May 9th, 2007. Well, not, my bad. It was May 6th, 1996. 96. I'm, math, I'm right? thinking okay, that's only 10 years yeah, yeah. Wait, what was yours? May 9th. You were May 9th, mm -hmm. May 6th, May 12th. What was your start date? June 13th. Oh, forget it then. You're June. Okay, so wow. all the Mays and June. Wow, that's June pretty 13th. amazing. You're close. That is very close. They must do onboarding so a lot funny. during that time. Yeah. Springtime, yeah. People might that wonder so why funny. do you guys all know that? Because isn't it on your ID? Mm -hmm. It right? used to your, be. Your cast I, ID. I, it used, yes. I don't think it is any longer, but for a very long time it was. It was It was on your, your ID. Right. That's crazy. So May 6th, 1996, May 6th, not 2006. Right, yes. I'm yes, correct. math. You yeah. are better at math yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so where did you, what was your very first position? I worked part-time at the beach club. Uh, Doing in, what? In valet. Oh, really? oh it Keeps yeah. me slim. I'm telling you. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So. Um, and valet was part of Disney? Because now it's. Outside. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was part of Disney. And yeah. then, but soon after I, I, I got in. Well, the story is too long to me to tell you, but what I did to get myself to become an, what they call an uh, ASA to work uh, yeah. the kiosks, right? Um, That's advanced sales, sales associate. associate right? So when you're walking yeah. around the parks and you see like yeah. the different DVC kiosks, that's the team that's there that's chatting with you that has the stickers. Right. Absolutely. Right. So give us like a Cliff Notes version of how you yeah. got to be an ASA. So I'd come up from Miami, which I was living in Miami at the time uh, for the weekend, and uh, a f cousin of mine had told me he was selling timeshare. And then I went and I saw what he did. Where? And, where? Um, <laughs> this was over by... 535 over by the Lake Buena Vista area. There. Like the like the leaky tiki it, or it, yeah, it was so bad that I I was like I'm, I can't do this. So um, he's like, oh, but you can do well at it. I said, no, no, it's okay, thank you. But I, the pressure, I, I just couldn't do it. So I happened to go to the um, to downtown Disney. Now well, it's now downtown, downtown Disney now, and uh, I stopped at the kiosk and I asked the guy there, and then the, the guy's like, wow, you, you you came up for that? And he started asking me questions. You know, very talkative guy and. Um, He's like, would you be interested in this? And I was like, wow. I, I, I mean, sure. He goes, do you, do you speak anything other than English? And then at the time, yeah. uh, uh, well, I'm still extremely fluent, obviously, in Spanish. But at the time, I spoke quite a bit of French. And my Portuguese oh. wasn't that strong. So he says, we, could, we need people like you. Because right. right now, we only have two on the team. So he's like, call this oh my lady. God, two on the whole entire team? That was it. Wow. Yeah, that, that was it. That was it. That was it. Wow. So he told me to contact uh, a gal. Um, at, and, I, and I called her, called her. She never called me back. And then I, I don't know how I made it in through the gate at Old Key West. And I parked my vehicle and it says cast member only. And I said, I guess this is the door I gotta enter. And I'm, I walked in there with, with my resume in hand. So I, I, I was knocking the door and this young lady's sitting there and she's like, can I help you? I was like, yes, I, you know, I'm interested in this uh, advanced sales associate position that they mentioned to me, but I've left messages um, for this person and she hasn't called me back and I'm interested in finding out how I can get in. Well, she had a folder and she was holding on to the folder like this as we were talking and I said, you know, and this is her name. She's like, that's me. I'm like, oh boy, I didn't start this. Her name wasn't Amy Weaver, was it? No. <laughs> I was just going to do that joke. <laughs> Connected finally. So uh, <laughs> that was her. Oh yes. my gosh! Yes. Thank God you didn't say anything I was just, awful. This lady's not even calling me yeah. back. So uh, always be polite. Yes, I'll always so, be polite. Yeah, it, it was it, it was pretty amazing. She goes, well, I happen to be on vacation, and uh, Umberto, right? You were on my list. You to call, and she actually had a list of people she was going to oh. call back. Oh wow! So um, she goes, but uh, can you come back for an interview? And I said, sure. And then I came back for an interview. It was like three days later. So you didn't even have to go to casting first. You just went to Old Key West. You just went to the source. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. He walked I, through I, security, <laughs> to through cast, cast member or <laughs> to get to to Amy Weaver <laughs> to find the person who you had to speak to. Didn't even go through casting. See, this is what I love yeah. about you. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, you know, when you want something in life, you got to go for it. I, I, That's I, right. I'm not going to sit here and wait, right? <laughs> so, um, and it worked out. I mean, I had the interview with, with, uh, with her and, and another uh, cast member which we, we all know and um the dvc offices are not going to be flooded with people just walking in with their resume hi yeah, uh, humberto <laughs> said i should just walk in here and <laughs> yeah. so, so no, and then you know it, 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 I, I interviewed with them and they said do you have a few more minutes i said look I, how much time do you i have all day I, why because we're going to go get our boss and then he came in and uh who was that at the time 
it was Ted Watson. Know, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So, oh, so the names okay. of the, it was Krista, yeah, yeah, yeah. Krista Shivers. I, I'm not sure if I'm you know saying names. So Krista yes. Shivers, yeah, uh, is the one who would never didn't call me back. Hi, Krista. Uh, and then, <laughs> but but she she helped you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, she, of course, she was on of vacation. Course. I just texted so. her the other day. You know, she's a big Lions fan, so we were, we were talking oh, back and forth. And then, oh, I'm sorry, and then, yeah. yeah. And then yeah, Tony Hurd. Tony Hurd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he eventually ended up being my manager, right? Wonderful. So they brought in Ted. Ted interviewed me, and he's like. I think you're good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm good for what? He's like, like, I'm, <laughs> when am I starting? You know, I asked him, and he's like, I, I, "Yeah, I can't say, but yeah, you're, you're, you're right." <laughs> so then he got me in, and I worked there for a year and a half as okay. an as an ASA, and then now when, I when you to. said you work there, did you work at Old Key West, or did they put you in the parks, or like, were you? Because so I was, kinda, I was in the, I was in the parks. Okay, for um, six months. Okay, I was in the parks, but I made the. All Star Team, I think it was called at the time, or no, the Resorts Team. I made the Resorts Team, okay. Nice. Which then I exclusively worked Boardwalk and, and Old Key West. So you know, you guys met, you guys know Randy Cook. Yeah, yeah, of yeah okay. So do I. We're yeah. So anyway, I work with Randy <laughs> yes, Cook. Yes, Randy, Randy Cook. Randy, Randy works here. Randy's <laughs> a colleague. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him Berto Bert fool you. So yes, uh, we know Randy. Cook. Yeah, so we work with Randy. As a matter of fact, we both. Got promoted at the time, at the time uh -huh. to Vacation Club Guides together. I so mean, you and Randy worked together for a long time. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've known Randy for... Ever. Forever. Yes. Almost 30 years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Did he wear his baseball cap backwards back then, too? <laughs> FSU. That is, that's, yeah. FSU. Oh, yeah. yeah he's a I mean, big not, FSU. not during work. You of course. Know? I mean, of we course. wore our earrings during work, but not... Not, <laughs> uh, not but, you can. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. But, um, oh, and, yeah. And so you got promoted being an ASA, meaning you did such a good job at being an ASA, which for those folks that are wondering, you know, how are they gauged? It's basically, right? Like how many folks could you talk to in the parks that would then agree as you kind of tell them about Disney Vacation Club, what it entails, then you get them to what? Like sign up for that tour, yeah, right? They, they go, would you like to learn more? Interest, that was yeah. your job. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and one of the benefits, you know, um, was the fact that I, that I spoke you right. know the, the the other languages because I was able to capture sure. guests that they they couldn't. I mean, I'd be at a I, w I would be at a at a kiosk, let's say at Epcot, yeah. and I'd get a phone call from you know one of my colleagues at Wilderness Lodge mm -hmm. or something. Hey, can you speak to these folks? And then they put them on the phone, and I would book it over the <laughs> phone for them, you know, <laughs> right. because yeah, because there wasn't that many of us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When you got three. You know, right. so it's, it's, it's well, and you have that now commonality too that we've all been to different countries. When you don't speak the language, it's like you're trying to help each other, but then you come along and like save the day, right? And plus, you're very funny and charming. Thank you. And you're welcome. And there's a did I say that right? He yeah, told great. me to say that earlier. No, I'm just joking. You know, I think <laughs> yeah. that about you. It's very supposed to be charming first, funny second. For charming first, funny second. Yeah. Sorry if I inverted that. Yes, but you do. You have a charm about you. So then you have the then the commonality, and then the Disney, and then the, it's just you're kind of the whole package, Bart. I, I appreciate whole that. Package. Uh, yeah, my wife hopefully will be watching this and she'll like that piece. Okay, uh, and she'll agree to that. But um, yeah, you know. I, I've been blessed in my life, you know, I, I, I truly have. Yeah. And it's not the fact just that I speak different languages, it's that, you know, in my upbringing and, and life, I mean, I've been in 50 countries around the world, so yeah. I, I, wow. I can almost, yeah. I can talk to anybody. Right. And I, I hear a phrase, I mean, growing up in Miami, which high school years I did in Miami, you know, in my street, I don't think we repeated a country for like 20 houses. Really? You know? So I hear somebody say one phrase and I know where they're from in South America. I mean, literally, wow. or, yeah. or Central America. Just yeah. one phrase and I know, you're, you're from Costa Rica or you're yeah. from Uruguay, you're from Argentina. Those are the only two that I have. But the rest is like this. You know, it comes to me yeah. pretty easily because I've been and mm -hmm. I know their cultures and stuff. So it, it helps. It helps. It's wonderful. So the, when you went from being an ASA and they promoted you and promoted Randy, then did you have to go through like different type of training, correct? Like on how you talk to guests and learning the product and all of that. Oh, what, absolutely. What was that like? It, it was it was uh, it was intense. It was intense. Uh, you know, we we literally started by shaking people's hands. You, they had to, they taught us, you know, quote unquote, how to shake somebody's hand properly. Right, you don't want to squeeze too too hard or hurt the person, <laughs> right? Or you don't want to be too too soft. You don't want to give them one of these because right. that's you know. So you you know you shake the yeah. person's hand. Nice hand. You know, thank you. And and um and back then, it was eight weeks. I, yeah. I don't know if it was eight weeks because Randy and I were slower yeah. than the rest. But, no, but no, it was, there was <laughs> no, there was a there was a long. Period Everyone else of time. did it in three. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's okay. three days, by the way. No, no, no. There was a there was a period of time where there the investment in training was 
huge. Yes. I was just telling my parents that the other day they're here for the winter, and my dad asked me, he said, how long was your initial, like, that traditions? I said, my initial traditions ever, that first company orientation was three and a half days. Mm -hmm. yeah. Three and a half days of traditions. Now I think they do it in an afternoon. Yeah. Wow. Literally. Yeah. yeah I, 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 so I remember traditions was, was, being two days. Two yeah. days, for me, right. For mm -hmm. me, it was two days. And then, yeah, so it's eight weeks. And, and back then, they took you to Vero Beach. They took you to yes. Hilton Head. Yeah. You know, right. you, you stayed at the resort on property. So, so it was it was intense, but the intense part were the question and answer sh sessions that we had. We call them the Q and A's. Yeah. The, the the sales managers would sit on one side of the table, and the rest of us would be at the other side. Yeah, we had one manager which was you know former a lieutenant colonel in the army, and he he I mean we would shake. I mean you know he yeah. shake. Some of us would shake. So they would like they that would. was like your test kind of. They would ask pre the pre test the pre test. So, so they once would a week ask he'd come questions. in. He'd, he'd, <clears throat> Okay, and then just start bombarding. What's use here? What's your oh, bank? If, oh. if, if, you, if you have a, a, a May use here, when do you bank? No cheat or anything like that. And you know, I'm, I'm like, oh, wow. there's no May. There's no May. And the poor girl is sitting next to me. She's like, May, 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 May. And there's, there, is, there is no May, right? <laughs> so, no May. So that would be, you know, they would still, and, then the, and they all had like these stone wall faces. Mm -hmm. They would sit there and they're like, oh, we got these guys now. And you know, we, we would try and help each other out, but you couldn't because if you, you know, right. so it right. was... It was intense, and then then we had the then we had the the walk with the tour the, with the guests, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. And yeah. you did that, and then you had somebody there making sure you did what you had to do and did it properly. You had but the checkout, right, where you check have out, to do yeah. the whole tour. Certification, certification, oh, yes, certification. That's certification, not checkout. Yeah, Cert certification. Mm -hmm. So uh, how'd you do with that? Good, pass it. Yeah, yeah no, I, you know, fortunately, um, fortunately, I mean, I was a single dad at that time, right? Okay. So single dad raising my three daughters, my three yeah. oldest, and fortunately, I had my grandmother helping me out. Mm -hmm. So I would say, hey, you know, I, just, I need to study. So I, I would, nice. I, you know, you study. You know, just, well, that's usually what you do to pass your test, right? Right. <laughs> but uh, so she gave me the time, nice. you know, the opportunity. Did so. they ask you to do it, just curious, in in multi, multiple languages too? Um, no, I, I only I only had to do it in... <laughs> no, there's only two other people that could understand it. That could it. understand it. That's very <laughs> no, true. No, but you know, no, the lieutenant colonel, he was fluent in Portuguese. Mm, really? really? Yes. Wow. So when he looked at this during the interview process, he asked me a few things and see if I could answer. Sure. And and you know, I, fortunately I could, right? But no, he he this guy was amazing. I mean, amazing yeah. in, in many ways. Um, but but yeah, he was intense. And and yeah, uh, Colonel and in the your Army. Mm -hmm. like that part, the ASA time frame and your initial guide time frame. That was a lot of like the original Disney Vacation Club group, right? Mm -hmm. Like I know we've seen pictures. Karen Chef, who works on our team in the admin side, she was there from day one of Disney Vacation right. Club. So she sends group pictures all the time. But yeah. when looking at that, it's Karen, it's you, it's Randy, it's uh, Karen Guider. Uh, even Linda. So, like, a lot of you guys were that kind of core group that was from, yeah. like, they're almost from the beginning of Disney Vacation Absolutely. Club. Meaning, do Absolutely. you still remember your guide number? I do. What is it? 244. See, 244. Really? Yeah. Everybody remembers your guide number because when you're hired as, as a, <clears throat> excuse me, as a Disney Vacation Club guide, they kind of <clears throat> anoint you with a guide number that you use for every bit of communication, every internal thing. You always have to put your guide number there. So. Absolutely. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, uh, just a quick story, just a few months ago, Andy Nystrand yeah. calls me up and she says, I ran into somebody the other day at, at Winter Garden. You know, and I'm like, okay, who? She's like, well, I'm going to give you the guide number so you can remember. <laughs> oh, my God. That's and awesome. Andy, Andy yes. is also on our admin team. <laughs> and, and Andy is so a funny. superstar. So, so said, oh, okay. Give me some yeah. hints. And she, she, she threw me the guide number. I'm like, I know who that is, of course. And she's like, I thought you'd forgotten. I said, no, I remember not all of them, but I remember them, especially that the special. That's so <laughs> funny. That's something she yeah. would do, too. Oh, no, no, yeah. She, we she, love she our Andy Neister, and she's yeah. phenomenal. Absolutely, absolutely. And did you, <laughs> I just picture, like, you guys as the group, and then Sue Saunders, sweet story time with Sue, buying at that time, right? Like, Sue yeah. was, like, a brand new Old Key West member, and she bought, you know, in the hard hat era and things like that. Like, who knew that everybody would, like, eventually come together? Yeah, so I was, so for, when I became... When we were talking about Randy, when we became guides, we literally started at Boardwalk. We started at Boardwalk. Yeah. So that was exactly, right. we opened the Boardwalk, you right? You did. We did. So I, I would only come to Old Key West if they needed uh, a guide who spoke, needed, you know, help uh -huh. guests who spoke Spanish. Actually, during training, I helped sell three people because they didn't have anybody to help them out. So I translated the, the tour for the other guide while I was in training. I, I think that helped me out. Definitely. You know, you know, for but, sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. But uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's interesting time. I'm, I start going way right. back, and you, I'm, all these memories start popping up in my head. Yeah. And and when you sold at the Boardwalk, because they used to do the tours at Old, Old Key West, and people remember, you know, the Commodore House where you'd go and take a tour at Old Key right. West, which was great. That's where I bought. But then they moved it over to the Boardwalk when the Boardwalk opened, and you guys basically worked out of, if I'm not mistaken, like trailers, right? Yep. That were off to the back. Yeah. West there were trailers. Yeah. That's where the DVC So not got in that little open house area where it says open house. There's, no, behind. No. So you behind. have a boardwalk. Behind that building, oh. there was a double wide, but really it wasn't a double wide. It was way more than that. Really? And that's where we were. Really? I, 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 it's, I just took my two oldest granddaughters there with my wife and, and, and we reminisced on, because that's what, what, what with my, with Vivi, you know, that, the night that we kind of like, you know, it was, we went to the boardwalk. So, and back then I had a key. I, I can say that now. I mean, I went and I showed her exactly what I did, how the tour was at night. This is at one o'clock in the morning. I'm going through the bag and going through all this stuff and showing, <laughs> hey, here's what I do here. Here's what I do here. And I even if you didn't have a key, Bert, you'd probably find a way in. <laughs> potentially, potentially, <laughs> potentially. But, um, so it, we, we and, and there was a moment that, that, that we, we got like teary eyed with Vivi, like, here we are. Yeah. You know, we, we, we'll be 25 years in October, October yeah. the 9th, oh, you know, that's I awesome. remember. Congratulations. And thank you. And and we're standing there with our two oldest granddaughters. It was like surreal to be there where the double wide's no longer there. It's lawn. Yeah. Right. But right. you're like, wow, all these years later. And, and Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it, 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 you it know, hits it, you. it hits you. I know, I know. There's no doubt. There's, there's no doubt. Wow. You know. And you were at then the boardwalk, and I know that we've talked before too, because Marissa and I spent a lot of time on the cruise ship selling Disney Vacation Club, but you were there selling on the cruise ships back in its like infancy days, right? Like to where someone literally had a thought like, we should sell some timeshare on a ship. Well, how do we do that? Yes. I don't know. So I, <laughs> we I, got Bert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I, know, I know you guys would be shocked, but it, but it, I oddly enough raised my hand. I said, I'll do that. You yeah. know? <laughs> so um, we didn't have offices. We had this massive treasure chest. Literally, it was like a treasure trunk. And that's where we carried all our stuff, and we would push oh it God. along, and um, and we would do presentations wherever we could. I mean, literally on the hallways and and and, 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 and stuff. Um, <laughs> pop I, I, up. That's the new pop up shop. Yeah. Now, what, what was the place right right across Rock and Bar D? I forget that. that it's not Rock and Bar D anymore. Back, well, <laughs> anyway, but there, there was a D lounge. <laughs> there, there was a place there, and I'm full on presentation with this couple, uh, and I'm explaining how the membership works. And all of a sudden, this, these kids, the kids club, mm -hmm. they all come in with their, you know, with their supervisors, the ones who are watching them. <laughs> and I was like, okay, folks, I guess we have to leave here. And then <laughs> off we went to one of those portholes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my and, gosh. And, and I sat him in the porthole. So you're and that's where I did the, the rest of the presentation because th there was, that, that's that's all you could do. I mean, there was oh there was no the, there was no office downstairs or on the, on the top. Yeah. You know, we would do the group, group presentations in Studio C, you know. Right. But, uh. And then you'd have to meet with guests kind of wherever you could meet with them. Wherever. No, no, literally, wherever. Yeah. I mean, I had a lady one time says, no, no, I'll do it, but I want to do it upstairs as I'm taking some sun. <laughs> and I'm like, but, but is there any way you, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm willing to listen, but you got to go. So I'm upstairs. Everybody's She's in, sunbathing? Yeah, everybody's in their bathing suits and I'm upstairs and I'm like, yeah, so there's a point chart. <laughs> So if you want to learn Disney Vacation Club, Bert has taught Disney Vacation Club point charts in every scenario. From a porthole to yeah. a lounge chair to, to a, from a treasure trunk to yeah. the backstage. Bert's of up there with sunglasses, board. like so you can see in high season. Right. Yeah, exactly. More points yeah. Than low Could you spray this on my back a little bit? Because yeah, oh my gosh, that but we had people come funny. up to us at night, even in the bar. Yeah. Hey, I have a few questions. <laughs> I mean, we were done four hours ago, right. and they, we have a few more. Can we ask you? Sure, sure, go ahead. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Ask me whatever questions you have. It was interesting. So it was funny. It was fun. Wow. Yeah, it was fun. It's crazy. One of the things when just looking at like Disney Vacation Club overall, and I know like when I first started selling as a guide, there's that like question of like, what if the sky falls, right? And so, and we've all gotten those questions, whether you're selling directly from Disney mm -hmm. or selling resale. There's yeah. that excitement of purchasing into Disney and having that legacy of 30 or 50 years on that contract, but then you're gonna get every few people go, but what if something happens, right? right. And I have to sell it. Now, we've been very blessed to see the resale side of things and mm -hmm. see that we can really help families not only buy into the membership at a lower price, but also when the timing's not right, they can mm -hmm. sell it, yep. right? And we've seen so many of our members get back what they paid, make profits. Right. It's incredible, and I think that's been the, probably one of the most fulfilling things coming to the resale yeah. market is seeing that full circle. But what I wanted to talk to you about, Bert, was you've 
been with Disney Vacation Club through some massive events, right? Like world massive, events. Yeah. World events. World yeah. historic yeah. events. And that's when I think Disney Vacation Club gets put to the true test. Mm-hmm. And so when people today go, well, what if something happens? I think you've got that perfect story to say, well, I've seen this, yep. I've seen this, I've seen that. So I wanted to kind of go back to initially like 9-11, right? Mm-hmm. Because I think that was a massive impact on Disney, yeah. on people spending, especially mm-hmm. buying like something luxury, like a timeshare. So walk us through kind of any memories you have of selling at that time and what you saw Disney Vacation Club come through. Absolutely. So I guess first and foremost, life is cyclical. You know, mm-hmm. things are going to happen and they're going to go. It, that's We all know that, right? right. So um, I was on the cruise the week before September 11th, literally the oh, week yeah. before. Um, we, and I remember all these crazy numbers you're going to think how is it possible but you know we we would have some amazing sales weeks out there we had 39 contracts that we came back with you know from add-ons and new members of course all together and that was back then what like a three-night cruise or like a four no no we were doing seven nights back then it was only seven nights actually um the ones (laughs) i would do would be the seven nights but we came back home and um all of a sudden on wednesday because this happened on a tuesday uh mondays we'd always be off because we take the weekend once you come back and all of a sudden, it's like cancellation. So it it, my phone night. would ring and cancel, cancel, oh. cancel, cancel. And I'm like, you know, my colleague that, that was on, on ship with me, I'm like, are you getting the calls? He's like, same. And, and it, it, it was just like a barrage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three people kept theirs. Wow. Three. Out of how many? Out of 38. Like 39. 39. Out of 39, three people kept theirs. <laughs> wow. Um, and the one, I'll never forget this one guy, actually from New York, mm. calls me up. And I'm like, hey, hi, Mr. We're talking. And he's like, uh, I know you're probably wondering why I'm calling you. I'm like, well, I've had a few phone calls already. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm keeping mine because nobody's going to stop me. Nobody's stopping me or my family for coming back and bringing him back to Walt Disney wow. World. So you told all those other folks <clears throat> that, and if you get any more phone calls, then I'm sticking to mine. And, and I, I was like, I mean, literally, I went, yeah, <laughs> right. one stay, one stop. Because you're like, because it was before that. Oh, it was yeah. like, no, 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 we're out, we're out, we're out. And it was gut wrenching. It, it, it was, it was difficult because you got to feel for. I mean, I used to work mm-hmm. between the towers. Wow. Back in 1986, I, 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 I worked there for a year and a half in that hotel. Oh. I was the youngest guy in that whole, the whole hotel. I was 19 years old working the front desk. So I, that thing hit me. Off. Hard. I mean, I was born in Queens, New York, yep. I mean, for heaven's sake, right? Yep. So it was like rough, you know, but you got to understand, folks. Um, and then it was like, it was silence, slow. Mm-hmm. Some people would come in and take the tour, but it was, for a moment, they were all like, we're all out of jobs here. Yep. And, you know, the, the, and then came November. It's probably the best month that we've ever, at least that I ever had. It, you know, you know. President Bush at the time said, hey, you know what, nobody, nobody you know, remember the speech. Yep. And yep. Uh, so October was still kind of shaky. It started picked up. But November, we killed. I mean, it really? was, yes, it was crazy. Because people are like, you know what, nobody's stopping us. I mean, yeah. and, right. and we all, I mean, I'll do things for myself. I'll purchase things for myself. But you almost never say no to your kids. I mean, I have five daughters, mm-hmm. right? And, and three granddaughters at this stage of the game. And my daughters were young. And, and you'll do whatever it yeah. takes. You might not get a manicure or a pedicure, right. right? Maybe you will, Derek, but... but <laughs> Nothing ever stops. You haven't seen my feet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but if, you're, if your kids want something, you're like, yeah. no, I'm going to do it for them. Yeah. And, and these people just in droves. Yeah. I mean, we were taking six tours a day. Wow. Six I remember when I did my training, and April, who trained many of us, was one of the first training directors of Disney Vacation Club. Right. And... She said at that time, Disney Vacation Club wasn't quite 10 years old, right? And she said what happened was there was a flip in the guests attending. And all of a sudden, everyone coming back was a Disney Vacation Club member. Right. One, they, they already had the vacation, right? Yep. They already had the points. It didn't cost anymore. Yeah. And she said that's when all of a sudden things flipped at Disney and Disney Vacation Club was given this whole new level of respect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like everyone looked and said, this is an... I think first when like timeshare and Disney was put in the same phrase, it was this fearful moment. Right. But then all of a sudden something hit during that time where they said, oh, wait, yeah, 
Disney Vacation Club is a core part of our people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then you saw that change. You saw like resorts being built after mm -hmm. that, like a total uh, like yeah. upward motion. Oh, I think point. it went from Great two where point. people, you know, you don't feel safe at that time, right? You want your kids close. You want your family close. No, nothing feels safe. The the malls don't. The cities don't. It, the, nothing feels safe. And then it goes into like you said that November time frame of the holidays. That then you're like. We want to do. We want to do what our kids want to do. We want those memories. And when you look back on your life, like you said, Bert, walking through Boardwalk, it's like it hits you that it's those core memories. It's that those pictures. It's that movie reel. It's those memories of. Yeah. And where are you normally at? You're on vacation. You're celebrating a birthday. You're celebrating Absolutely. a wedding. And usually, and especially for our audience. Disney is the core of that. Disney's the backdrop. One hundred percent. Well, it, it it totally defines. You know, yeah. oh, I want to be in the Disney bubble. Oh yeah. gosh, yeah. Right. You know, and so the soundtrack and the backdrop of of so many of our lives that pass through the gates and I feel yeah. like. Uh, yeah. I'm here, you, we're okay. you know what to Everything's expect. Everything's going to be okay because yes. we're here at Disney, yeah. and we get to keep coming back right. to the bubble. And that's what yep. that's what members were. No, it's like the family we do. talked and to the last time. Why yeah. they buy? Why? Yeah. They, they they love telling you I, I'm I'm doing this because you yeah. know. Right. And and I, I have stories galore of yeah. people telling me stuff and, or not purchasing and coming back a year or two later. And and you know if. if it's like bring out the Kleenex. I mean, yeah. I've had I've I've had some. But to have especially nine eleven hit you like kind of in your childhood, and now in your adulthood too, and then the impact that your guests are having that saying I have to cancel, I have to modify, I have to this, I have to reschedule, and then to, then you see the resurgence of that coming back. Yeah. Like you said, now the now there's the Kleenex moment of like now it's November and we're going to do this. Yes, we're not so living in that walk fear us anymore. Through, yeah, like. Then 2008, right? Yeah. So that's 2008, 2009. Then we have, like, your, to your mm -hmm. point, that cycle. So we've right. got another wave <clears throat> yep. of economical crash, right? right? And that's, again, in this lifetime, there's just been so many major events. So with that, usually the first things that go are luxury items, yes. yep. right. as well as everyone's credit score, right? right. We saw that massively yep. impact. So what did you see direct sales at that point? I don't want to use the word fortunately, but I guess since – we went through September the 11th. Yep. When I was faced with that situation in 2008, I'd say to the folks, "Hey, yeah, we've we, seen we, some. We, yeah, this, this already right. happened. Right. Right. So I mean, if they didn't pass credit, there's not. What can you do? There's really not. You can't sell if they don't pass. I mean, you know. But if there was a, if they were on the fence, I'd say, "Hey, we look September the 11th. And they're like, oh, we rebounded. Yeah. So yeah. so mm -hmm. okay. And and my philosophy is always." You're giving the money to Disney anyway. I mean, if you, exactly. I always say three things. If, if, if you're, if you're coming, if you're coming every year, yep, right. If you can plan your vacations out, right, um, and you're spending more than hundred and fifty dollars a night, I mean, we're economically, there's just, it's just, how do you not? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a yes. Yeah. So I would, I would put them in that moment, and they'd say, "Well, you're right." So it wasn't. That wasn't that bad. Well, it, especially because you had those tools to fall back on. Fortunately, for yeah. me, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure some of the ones who didn't have that. You don't know what to say. Right. Absolutely. I remember I was starting like my sales career in 2008. Like it's, I, I graduated from college 2008, and then end of 2008, I started my first year in sales. And I remember thinking like, this is the worst yep. <laughs> year to jump in. It, it was, I mean, I, I cut my teeth, I grit, you know, <clears> through, because <throat> you learn how to go yeah. through it, but right. I, I had no like story, I had no reference. Right. Like when I look at people saying, I'm not sure if I should spend this, I don't know either, you mm -hmm. know? But you had that, and I think so many Disney Vacation Club guides had that history because they stayed around forever, right? You talk about the legacy of so many of the guides who now work for us, but you right. had those stories to tell, which is really impactful, and I think that speaks to so much of the legacy of what Disney Vacation Club is today is thanks to you and people on your team, Randy, right, Linda, Karen, of going through that, coming out of it, right. and then being able to really just kind of give that education to those guests who are nervous saying, I don't know. And then fast forward <laughs> in, in just a whole to nother our, phase, our, yeah, right? Recent past. To, to 2020. And I mean, I mean, all of us were sitting there going, what are we going yeah. to do? Because in the history of Disney, the parks had never closed nope. for that amount of time. Right. When you drive through par property, yeah, I remember driving through property in April when everybody went home and I was still working. I was never furloughed, but the, but, uh, the contemporary was dark. Yeah. It was yeah. a Saturday night. And I think I have the picture. I'll, I'll put it up if I, if I can find it. But it was dark. And I just remember si sitting in my car and just tears streaming. But to your point, Marissa, thinking we've been not here 
Yeah. But we've been through catastrophe before. And yeah. I remember thinking that, especially with 9-11, I was yeah. a cast member myself, little baby cast member right. working at Disney Cruise Line too, but... But thinking like, we will, I don't know how we're going to rebound from this, but yeah. we will. And many of us were given that nugget in yeah. training, yes. that example. And I think we were able to use that even on the resale side. Yeah. But I remember those two weeks going, is Disney Vacation Club going to change forever? Is DVC uh, Resale Market going to be done forever? Right. Like, Because we can't keep going if all of these members have this moment of, I can't keep this membership. Right. And I thought, okay, if everybody turns and sells... And we had so many buyers cancel those two weeks, similar to like you saw with the cruise. Yeah. And if nobody buys, how do we keep this business yeah. going? And that two weeks was a very like telling. I, I think I remember being at my son's Little League game at, at the time and I'm in the bleachers and the lady that was sitting in front of me, one of the kid's parents worked for guest relations and we're sitting there and COVID was just kind of starting yeah. to happen. And I remember she turned around because she got a text from work and said, oh my God, they're shutting down our office. Mm. They're shutting down guest relations. Oh, he's got chills. I wow. remember that I'm, I think I texted you like from the ballpark and I was like, just so you know, I just heard that they're shutting it down. I mean, yeah. they shut everything Everything. down and i don't know if people realize that they didn't just shut the parks down y'all remember they shut down every single resort which was unheard of it's a pandemic i mean yeah that's a little bit tougher to overcome when did you so you came so you were at disney for 20 years and then when did you come here to the resale market team 2016 2016 august yeah so okay so you were about four years ish in to here when COVID hit right and what was what was what what was that like for you well it's like marissa said and you know you, you you're at home and my, yeah. my wife has to close her office. And we're like, okay, how many months can we last on our right. savings? Right? Mm-hmm. Can, can, right? Can we make yeah, it? Yeah, you start running math quick. Oh, no, really? Yeah, Very yes, quick, yeah. You know, you're yeah. Like, well, you know. okay. And, and um, we ran math quick and we, we were like, okay, we'll be okay. But okay to, you know, to win. To, to win, yeah. you know, win. But once again, you know, uh, cyclical stuff mm-hmm. and, and we made it out. We yeah. made it out and, and people started, you know, wanting to purchase this thing because you can't live in doom and gloom yeah no, if you live this, in doom and gloom in life this is also so different though because you've got your five kids and you've got homeschooling now your wife's office shut down you've got your business you've got now your guests your members your sellers your buyers your this and that so like all of that on top of it it's almost like yeah 9 11 was one experience then the the economic downturn was this COVID though was completely well and on the resale so side too because you have uncertain buyers right yeah right. have sellers coming in but no one's actually buying anything. So I remember right. telling my husband, I was like, okay, I've got Caden home from school. He's not in school anymore. So we're trying to like juggle him, but then I'm doing triple the amount of work mm-hmm. because so many buyers are uncertain. So many sellers want to sell, but no one's buying anything. So I was like, we're not making money, right. but we're trying but we're to working, survive, yeah. but we're working yeah. triple the time. So it was like this very interesting juggle. But I think in all of these, to your point, I think the cycle is like, such a great example, yeah. right? Such a good visual. Because in all of these ups and down cycles, Disney Vacation Club has consistently come out ahead. And I think yeah. it, it just, it goes back to that base, right? It goes back to that original team, the training, the heart mm-hmm. behind it, the quality behind the product. Because what happened, like we all saw what happened four months later, that- it was like, <sighs> people couldn't grab a Disney Vacation Club fast mm-hmm. enough. Yeah. We were selling contracts within minutes of listing them yeah. because to yeah. your point of 9-11, like the guest that called you, I think so many families said, you know what? If all else fails, we need to still have a vacation. Mm-hmm. And Disney Vacation Club is the best protection for a vacation yep. because sure, you're going to pay this upfront cost. You're going to keep maintaining those dues. But the value of vacation you get out of it and the guarantee you know you're coming back, yep. I think the light bulb went on for so many families. Mm-hmm. And it was incredible for me to see, we got to see that view from a very different perspective being on the resale side. Yeah. You weren't just seeing guests come in, you were seeing that shift all around. And it was really incredible to see that Disney Vacation Club as a whole just maintain that incredible value. And we yeah. still talk about this to this day, is that during that time, just like you said, Bert, it's like, a couple months later, like boom, that's exactly what happened with the resale yes. side because mm-hmm. people were home. Yeah. I can't go anywhere. So what did they do? <laughs> they go online and they start yeah. researching yeah. Disney Vacation Club. And then they looked and said, God, the X amount of money that we normally spend on trips, well, mm-hmm. what could we possibly do? Well, let's look at, I'm gonna use this time to research Disney Vacation Club. I'm gonna join, I'm gonna close up my contract. So by the time they were up, the hotels, the resort, they got their points. They in got pocket, it, yeah. And it was, well, it you was wanna incredible. Get out, you, you wanna get out of the house. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean I, I, <laughs> 
I only have two at, at that point. I have two, ha, ha, two, two at home. Yeah. And my youngest was the only one was in high school. Everybody else had already graduated, so it was just the four of us at home. And my wife, she still got emergencies. Mm-hmm. You know, she's a dentist, by the way, for those of, that, that obviously don't know. But so she still had to go to the office on occasion right. because people, two things still come around. <laughs> yes. And when, no, you're, didn't you know, stop when, that. And when you're and when you're at home all day long yeah. eating, right? Because that's all you right. did was eat and drink and I'll eat. Make, and, make coffee with right? hearts in it, Marissa. Yeah. I would I'd follow Marissa's. Attempt so to things make happen. Hard. That was things the- happen, and and um, <laughs> thankfully, yeah, we yeah. made it. It's it's uh, it, it's a true DVC is a true test of time. I've yeah. used that before with yeah. gas, and it, and it mm-hmm. is. I mean, you want to get out of the house? Let's go see something, and, yeah. and keep in mind, not that. People want to go to other locations. It's not like everybody always comes to Disney. People right. go to other tra- – they want to travel, get out, see, see Palm And you have now. something to look forward to. Absolutely. That's, you know, studies show that that is, a, <laughs> that is part of life is that sometimes the anticipation of having that vacation is even more satisfying than the vacation itself and the experience itself because you're building up this experience in your head, in your mind. There's a reason right. that on social media, yes. every single page has a countdown clock. Yes. Every member right. knows right. When, when the next yes. trip is coming. When they, That's yes. part of the fun is having yes. it. And like you said, it's vacation insurance. It's I true. paid for it. Where are we going? Yeah, right? we're doing something. Absolutely. Whether yes. we like it or not, we're going to go. Absolutely. We're going to have a good time. It, it, yeah. You know, yeah. you, you brought up a good point. I, when we went to Austria years ago, my wife, that one of her favorite movies is Sound of Music. And yeah. I'm the one who did the whole you know planning. I, yeah. I like doing that. And to me, the most gratifying moment is when we arrived at the first stop mm. that they got out, you know, where they do the dance and the little glass thing. Yeah. And my wife and my kids were all excited. I'm sitting in the front. I'm, I'm oh, going, I, 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 I did this. I did this. I was so like yes. emotional about it because I yes. planned it out yes. and I was wait. I was waiting for that moment. What was I going to see? Yeah. And sure enough, my wife and the, my my daughters too. I, on that trip, it was just the two youngest ones. Yeah. They were like, oh, wow. Yeah. My oh, actually, my oldest was on that trip as well, but. Yes, that it's anticipation. Very gra- yes. yes, it's very gratifying. It is very. Uh, that excitement, and I love now being on the sales side of things. Now talking a month into the buyers, and you know who say like in an email like we're we're so excited. Yeah. Can we close tomorrow? I'm like no, but <laughs> I promise Coming you know soon. we'll get there. You know yeah. we will get there. And, Today's day thirty. When is it, Rofer? Right. Thing? Well, well, today's day two. Like <laughs> we got a ways to go, but you'll get there. And that anticipation is so exciting because then, and I've noticed a lot of the buyers will say to me like we're celebrating my mom's. 65th birthday it's my dad's 80th birthday it's my child's 16th birthday or whatever it is and we're still feeling that effects of COVID of like we didn't get to do our 25th anniversary right. four years ago so we're doing our 30th coming up and this is what this is for so just that anticipation Absolutely. I have, I just booked Bay Lake Tower for June and that countdown that's on the on the member yeah. website too and I'm like I don't know that I want to count down to my birthday necessarily but I do nah, like seeing the countdown you can celebrate oh, it oh it's your 21st so, it's super exciting yep I think it's the third 21st or something <laughs> yeah. like that. <laughs> we have a long-standing tradition yes. that we have not done in a, a long, long time, time on this show. <laughs> so, Bert, we're going to kick it off. Derek, I'm going to have you start it out. So this a little is a game, game of, of this, this or, or that. that. Gotta be this or that. Okay, ready, Bert? This is our long-standing tradition. We have not done it because we've been waiting for you. Here mm-hmm. it comes. We're going to ask you a question. Two different Disney questions. You're going to have to pick one. You are not allowed to explain your answer, so just answer. Answer. Rapid fire. Yes, Rapid sir. fire. Yes, sir. I think I got it. Ready? Here we go. Do you call it Disney MGM Studios or Disney's Hollywood Studios? Hollywood Studios. Do you call it Epcot or do you still call it Epcot Center? Epcot. <laughs> Would you, for a free weekend, using Derek's Disney Vacation Club points, I don't know who wrote this, <laughs> would you stay at the Grand Floridian or the Riviera? Grand Floridian. For your Disney snack, would you choose a churro or a Mickey Mouse ice cream bar? Mickey Mouse ice cream bar. Good answer. Okay, you're going to Epcot on a World Showcase evening stroll. Tonight? Uh-huh, okay. exactly. <laughs> do you start in Mexico or do you start in Canada? This is probably the toughest Ooh. one Left or right, wow. exactly. Left or right. I go Mexico. I go good. left, yeah. Yeah, good answer. Thank God our friendship <laughs> hung in the balance <laughs> on that answer. Oh okay. It's because it goes clockwise. That's right. the only reason, right? But yeah. uh, no one starts no, in Canada. Margarita. The margaritas <laughs> are in Mexico, not in Canada. <laughs> no one clockwise. wants to start with a beer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can get Margarita. beer in Mexico, too. But, okay. <laughs> Favorite Disney transportation, the monorail or the Skyliner? You know. Mm-mm. No, the Skyliner. Okay. In honor of Valentine's Day coming up, who is the best Disney couple? Is it Mickey and Minnie Mouse or Donald and Daisy Duck? Mickey and Minnie. 
And finally, for your Disney Vacation Club purchase, are you going to purchase direct with Disney or are you going to purchase with the DVC resale market? Resale all the way, baby. Perfect. <laughs> with, with Derek as your agent. Good call, Bert. <laughs> Throw that in there, Derek. Well, Bert, thank you so much for joining us today. So, I'm so happy to sit here with you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. And for those of you watching at you. home, you again, make sure that to enter in for our giveaway this month, make mm-hmm. sure to leave a comment in the notes. What DVC resort do you think offers the best dining? This is a big question. There's a lot, yeah. So let us know which one you think Curious offers to see the all best the dining. Opinions. We'll try it out. And with that, I think we have just That's it. one yeah. more thing left to do. This Now, this is our long-standing this is our long-standing tradition. tradition. This is a right? long-standing tradition. Yes. Ready, Bert? We're wrapping up the show with a big, pretty bow on it. Okay. All right, get so ready. So we're going to look right at this camera, and we are going to say thank you all for tuning in, and we'll, we'll see you real soon. soon. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> chance to build your legacy to go to magical places with smiling faces and value and trust you can see when it's buying or selling renting or lending there's a wonderful dwelling with wishes unending you'll see